Hey there, uh, my name's Ian from Synthstrom Audible and uh, we're at Superbooth this year uh, unveiling a few features from our upcoming uh, 3.0 firmware uh, which will be out uh, maybe around three or four months time. So perhaps the, uh, the biggest addition to the Deluge now is that we've um, added looping functionality to it. So this works as uh, looping audio, looping MIDI, looping CV, uh, you can loop the kits. Uh, you can create overdubs on the fly, uh, the loops can be as long as you like, the loops can be all different lengths, uh, you can have the loops be matched to your current bar length or you can have the loops be kind of just like random lengths of your choice. Uh, so how that's all been um, included in the deluge is we now have a new sort of um, state of creating an audio clip. So now when you start a new track, so previously you could use the synth engine, uh, a kit made of samples, MIDI or CV, we now have the select button being a fifth button. So when you press down that, it now chooses an audio clip. Now, once you've created an audio clip, all you need to do is you choose to use the input button, and then you select what is going to be uh, supplying that audio. So you can select the left channel, uh, right channel, you can use stereo, or you can actually use the output, which is what is already currently playing on the deluge, and it will just start looping that. Um, so let's just choose that for the moment. Now, once you've got that um, activated, all it's a case of doing oh, is simply unmuting that, and you can see here, it's now recording the uh, current output. Now, I can either force that to just stop at a random time, or if I just press the green again, it'll arm it, and it, it starts looping. So you can see with doing that, oh, I realize right now is it's probably, I, I forgot to unmute the existing clip, so it's probably um, done terrible things for the gain right there. Uh, so if, if at the same time as you pe press this to uh, mute, you unmute your existing tracks, that's the more sensible workflow. Anyway, now you can also have these loops just start auto um, extending. So that was the very basics of looping, um, but you can, you can have as many loops as you like running, you can time stretch them together. Uh, one of the other key features we're introducing is the uh, addition of a new QWERTY keyboard. And so what this means is that now you can name all your tracks, you can name your synths, and this uh, helps you when you're in your song view, because you can just then just hold down a finger and you can see what that's called. Now, all we gotta do that is go into your track, press save, and you'll see here a little keyboard pops up. Um, now, if that last track, for example, was my bass track, I can just type in bass here, press enter, 